When you first swing your leg over an e-bike, a lot of people think they're slow, sluggish, not very responsive, especially if you come across from a lightweight trail mountain bike, but it's all possible on the e-bike. Today's video is gonna show you transferring those skills from your trail bike across to your e-bike. So first things first, let's start with the basics. When it comes to e-bike riding, you're gonna go faster uphill and downhill on these things. So you really need to look ahead and plan what you're doing. This includes the body position. Make sure you've got that body in the right, in the right way before going up or down the hill. Also think about what speed you're going into those sections, linking stuff, making that sure you know, that trail is gonna flow ahead. You're linking the turns, breaking points, uh, and just keeping that head up. Don't get transfixed on the screen. Nice head up, and that flow is gonna come super easy. When it comes to obstacles out on the trail that you want to hop over, we're obviously going to use a bunny hop technique, but when it comes to the bunny hop, the bunny hop on an e-bike is quite a feat to be fair. It's a heavy bike compared to a regular trail bike. A regular trail bike, you can come in, pop the suspension and float over it quite easily. When it comes to the big heavy e-bike, it's exactly the same technique. You've got to work a hell of a lot harder. Squash that bike in, really use the bike suspension. Suspension is going to help you out so much on this move. You really need to use that fork, use that rear shock, squash into it, explode upwards, really pull hard up with the arms, scoop up with your feet, and you'll be flying over that log just as easy as your regular trail bike. When you find yourself on a flat, flowy, pumpy kind of style trail, you might find yourself losing speed, especially if you're above that speed restrictor compared to a regular trail bike. The regular trail bike is going to fly and just float along this trail, whereas on the e-bike, you're really going to have to learn to pump, maximize those down slopes, push that bike down into the floor and make it work for you. The actual added weight of the e-bike is going to increase that pump. You're going to find yourself flying down the trails if you maximize that pump. So the big difference when it comes to braking on the e-bike is that you're going to be coming into those corners a lot faster than we do on a regular trail bike. Therefore, you need to slow down a lot more before you get to the corner because these things are obviously carrying a lot more weight and a lot harder to slow down, especially the ground slippy. So think about those braking points out on the trails, maybe rein it in two or three bike lengths before you would do on your regular trail bike. That way, combining it with a heads up technique, getting your braking dialed, you're going to be flying through those corners a lot faster than you would do on your regular bike. When it comes to mangling the e-bike, it's definitely an art form, especially compared to a normal trail bike. Normal trail bike, you can just squash the forks a little bit, get the weight back, and that front wheel pops up easy. The e-bike is a constant battle with the battery and the motor trying to pull that front end down. Exactly the same technique, you've just got to work a lot harder. Suspension is definitely your friend when it comes to mangling. The e-bike, you just squash the forks, get that weight right back above the balance point, and try and just keep that bike in the same position. Really work the bike, Work the suspension, modulate that rear brake, and it's exactly the same technique. When it comes to manually in rollers on your e-bike, it becomes really heavy, especially in those low points in the rollers. So you really need to maximize that push and pull with your arms and legs compared to your regular trail bike. Let's talk a little bit about how climbing on the e-bike differs from a regular trail bike. Normally when you come to a climb like this on a regular trail bike, you get that seat jacked up, select an easy gear and grind your way up the hill, probably pretty slowly to be fair. On an e-bike, you come in, you select that power mode, be it boost or eco, any, any mode you feel right. You can actually slam that seat out of the way. That way that lowers that center of gravity, it increases the grip on the rear wheel. It actually allows you to move around fore and aft on that bike, controlling the grip as, long as, as well as the cadence to the motor. Cadence is really important as well. You need to spin a good gear, make that motor work for you. It shouldn't be that much effort on the hills if you're using a good technique. When it comes to jumping your e-bike, it's just as capable as your regular trail bike. It's actually even better on the bigger jumps. That weight gives you a super stable platform in the air. It also lets you get away with a lot more things that actually go wrong than the regular trail bike will. For jumping your e-bike, you just need to come in with the same speed, just work a lot more on that takeoff. Squash the bike in, preload the suspension so you're squashing down into the face of the takeoff 
and letting all that weight explode up into the air. Super stable in the air, just land nice and smoothly, big tires, big suspension, e-bikes super capable when it comes to jumps. One time I do like regular trail bikes is when it comes to these things, gates, super easy on a normal trail bike, e-bike, a total different matter. Trail bike, whip it straight over, super easy. You try doing that on an e-bike. So for the e-bike, when it comes to lifting it, my favorite lift is a shoulder lift. So what you need to do is turn the motor off, make sure that isn't gonna engage as soon as you clip a pedal or something over the, over the gate. Grab a good lot of seat tube, the lower of the fork leg, you swiftly limp it up straight onto your shoulder. That way it's nicely balanced and you can actually use a hand if you need to climb up, things like that. Then you just turn, just place it over, big over your head, put it down. It's not quite as easy as a regular trail bike, but it's not as bad as a lot of people make out. That's how you transfer all those trail skills from your trail bike to your e-bike. Might seem pretty daunting at first, but don't forget all that extra riding you're gonna be doing on your e-bike. You're gonna come on twice as fast. You're gonna be picking up those skills extra fast. So you're doing twice as much riding. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out my common jumping mistakes up here. Real cool video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Drop some comments in the box below. And don't forget to click the globe in the middle to subscribe to EMBN.